Hey what's up, I'm Nizio Cole, and welcome back to another Watch Dogs mod showcase. Today we're going to be talking about a graphics mod for Watch Dogs 1 called Fall of the Windy City. In my opinion, this is one of the most exciting graphics mods that have been released for Watch Dogs 1 in a long time. It features brand new effects such as moon shadows, along with its unique visual style that gives the game some much needed color while simultaneously emphasizing its darker tone. Now let's get into the features of this mod. City lights are now visible at morning and sunset, making the environment much more interesting to look at. There is a new indirect lighting method that better illuminates and applies color to all the buildings and objects. There are over 20 new sky textures in this mod that add a ton more variety as far as clouds go. There are darker and more realistic nights which also feature moon shadows for apparently the first time in any Watch Dogs mod. There is revamped twilight shadow with a dedicated sky texture and custom ambient colors. The water has been massively improved to fit better with the rest of the environment. As well as that, there are also better reflections and larger waves. This mod also reworks the vegetation to have better colors and a new shading and look for the maple trees. It might be kind of difficult to show this off on the video due to YouTube's compression. All the more reason to just download the mod and try it yourself. There are enhanced vehicle lights, including a more subtle lens flare that looks better from a distance, and smoother cast headlights. The time scale is also more accurate and better related to real life with the sunset, sunrise, daylight, and twilight timings based on real data from fall in Chicago. One of the more general improvements is improved rendering with better shadow and draw distance, rain and texture filtering, and on top of that, Bad Blood is fully supported with no additional tweaks needed, which is nice to see that Bad Blood is getting some love for once. So yeah, those are the main features of the mod. And just from that list, it seems like a small amount of new additions and features and changes compared to some other mods, but they really do make a huge difference in the way that the game looks. I don't know how to explain it. It just looks way better. That could also have something to do with the fact that the source textures are also in this game. It's a pack of higher quality textures for the game and it just looks so much better than vanilla. This is one of those mods where I feel like it's not trying to, you know, sell it as a, this is E3, this is what E3 was supposed to look like. It just looks good. I, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, you can see from the footage, it looks even better when you're playing it and not watching it through YouTube. And also another thing that I liked about this mod is the fact that daytime just looks amazing. I mentioned the fact that there are 20 new sky textures and they really look great. That makes it so it's not one of those mods that just looks good at night during the middle of a rainstorm. So yeah, let me know what you think about this mod. Are you gonna download it? Are you gonna try it out? Have you been playing with it? Let me know. One more thing, if you do download it and you don't wanna have to deal with any of the unpacking or anything like that, just download the patch version. As always, I'll have the link to this mod down in the description. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.